ended by Richie Madhouse Edhouse in their board final. So MVG will not be taking the top prize of £10,000 today. He's only earned £250 towards his UK Open qualification campaign. Hadn't lost in England since April last year, Michael Van Gerwen. First defeat in this country for around 10 months. Incredible. And it was Ian White who beat him on that occasion, a Bullseye. Players' Championship final. It was a whitewashed defeat from Ian White. Bullseye again. The ball. Lost to Phil Taylor in the Champions League twice, that was in Wales. Twenty-five. Defeat to Simon Whitlock on the Pro Tour in Ireland. Twenty-five again. But his Back first defeat in England ball. since last April. MVG is out. The door is open. You'd think for the likes of Gary Anderson. Peter Wright, Adrian Lewis, Raymond and Van Barneveld to capitalise, but it could be anyone. This is the FA Cup of Darts, the UK Open, and we've seen a massive, massive shock today. He's not out of the UK Open tournament, but he's out of today's qualifier. 17. Let's see how he responds tomorrow. The journey will be live streamed 96 but this is a board semi-final on board six for the right to take on a dutchman who did win benito van der pass 100 who from our commentary position we can just see and enjoying a chin wag with a couple of compatriots But yeah, GWAR won 6 0. 174. Against Jeff Batham. Didn't drop a leg. Joe Mernon's already played twice. As you will know if you've been following us on stream board one. Beat Not Billy fun. Holmes and Eddie Dutson. So he wants a win to get some money towards his ranking. But Jiwa, who regained his tour card a couple of weeks ago here in Wigan, looked pretty good in his first match. Yeah, you may have heard in the previous match a ripple of applause. Um, that was for Richie Edhouse's victory against Michael Van Gerwen. Well, Jiwa opting to split. Sensible route, maybe, there, because if he goes inside the nine, he's kind of got to split anyways under pressure. 77. You've got six and ten next to each other on 18, so... A professional player should be hitting one of those, and you've got a shot at double four or double six if you do, and... Jiwa cleaned it up in a couple of darts and took the lead. 39. So Van Gerwen out. Gerwin Price also out. He was beaten by Keegan Brown, 6 2. Of the seeded players. Falling. We also know that Jamie Kevin lost out to Lee Bryant. Daryl Gurney lost to Jonathan Worsley. Brendan Dolan also went out to 72. the Greek John Michael. Joe Cullen defeated by Dirk Van Dyvenvoorde. Gary Anderson survived a deciding leg in his board semi-final against 
Nathan Aspinall, the number two seed, Anderson. 16. But that will be the shock of the day. Michael Van Gerwen's defeat to Richie Edhouse. Stephen Bunting, another seeded player to exit the tournament. Now then, Mernon wants 100, so double top gets it. Turn check out to level the match and the first leg that Prakash Jiwa has lost today. Vincent van der Voort, by the way, has just gone the same way as Michael van Gerwen. He's been beaten 6-5 by Mike De Decker in a board semi-final. And the seeds really are tumbling in Wigan. Just got news that Simon Whitlock is out. He's been beaten 6-1 by Rob Cross one of these two will have the chance to have a go at knocking out a seeded player in Benito van der Pass who we just saw come through 6-4 against Steve Douglas in a closely fought contest 59. Michael Van Gerwen has won seven of the last 13 UK Open qualifying events. He's won 13 of the 50 that have been held before today. It's a massive shot that he's lost 100. to anyone. And it's the day of Rich Edhouse's darting life. Can he follow it up? It remains to be seen. We will bring you all the action 59. on live PDC TV HD without MVG. Yes. Oh, he watered the treble 20, Joe Mernon there. Slipped, well, clattered into the other dart, didn't it? And Giwa now. 54 for 32. Needs to move across. Find a clear route. Couldn't find one. Couple of options here. Most conventional is treble 10. Which would leave double 16. Now 20 for that or 12 for tops. Tops he wants. Tops he gets. And it's a break of throw for Joe. So having been broken, how will Prakash Jiwa respond? He had it all his own way in the first round clash against Jeff Bertham. But Joe Mern has already won 12 legs before this match. And it's looking like he's getting into the groove. And the Apache is snatching the darts out of the board. He's getting angry with himself. 38. But he's in front against the darts. If he can keep his cool, he can level the match, get it back on throw. And have himself a nice advantage. Now Mernon can't leave the finish. So two visits for Prakash from here. At least. Well, that's a pretty pretty disastrous visit just 30 leaves the finish but he would have been expecting to be more 100. likely to be around the 100 mark from there as Mernon leaves 1, 2, 3 now then it's a good set up leaves double 8 but one, two, three, double chance shot. 
Oh, and that's why he had a shot at the bullseye, but he pierced the 25 just above the bullseye wire. And Giwa levels 2 2. And breaks straight back. Not inside. Could find no record of a previous meeting between this pair as Mernon looks for a max and gets a max. Well, we've just seen two straight breaks of throw. Mer Mernon is put his in on court, putting us on course for another one. 55. Been going since 2010, UK Open qualifying events, as mentioned earlier, 50. This is the 51st. Winners include, of course, the likes of Michael Van Gerwen, Phil Taylor, Gary Anderson, Barneveld, Adrian Lewis, but also Wes Newton's won a couple. So has Mark Walsh. Vincent van der Voort in 2011, a year when Steve Brown also won a title. Mernon looking for double ten to break again. Good darts from Joe Mernon. Of course, a former... PDC ranking title winner himself, Joe Mernon. This is the third match we've seen him today on the live stream and he's looked very calm and composed all the way through. Doesn't give much away in terms of facial expressions, all that kind of thing. No reaction to the 180. But it puts him in a prominent position and a promising position to progress to the board final and start earning. 96 required for a 4-2 lead. He's got time to tidy it up. 42 did show his disdain at that last dart and Prakash fires in a max of his own 54 left for Mernon under more pressure than he might have been double 10 oh he pins it that's a big dart and well I just spent a minute saying how he's not showing any emotion at all and then he celebrates taking that double 10 context of the match it could turn out to be a very big dart and these dart players know the pivotal points big match for Joe he's going to have worked hard for his ranking money and who's to say he's going to be stopped by Benito van der Pass who was given a game by the game Steve Douglas Good dart. Can he fill it up? Uh, a little loose into the big five and means he's not on a finish. One hundred. Decent response from Giwa. We saw Mernon miss a dart at the bullseye for a one, two, three earlier on. Will Jiwa give himself that opportunity? Treble 18. No, he doesn't. And Mernon gets now a chance at 118. Oh, 
Oh, it's just wide into the treble five and uh, a little nod from Prakash trying to G himself up. Double 20, gets it. Back within a leg. Keep saying though that Mernon's shown no signs of panic so far today. And I see no reason why he would start panicking now. Quite the opposite, Jiwa not leaving his guess into what he thinks of every single visit. 97. Not just every visit of his, every visit of Joe's as well. One hundred. No, not too happy with that one. And Mernon's got six starts from 170. So may go down for the night. Well, I thought he'd go down for the 19s, but he found a way above. That dart into the treble. Very good dart from Murden. Leaves 65. And Giwa's not going to be close enough. Went for 25 for top. Didn't hit it, but found it a different way by adding 12 and 13 together. He'll come back for double 20. But Prakash is poised this time. Yeah, double 10. He finds it again. And Joe Mernon is one leg from a board final. A place in the last 64. Ranking money, most importantly, and a clash with Benito van der Pass. Which will be streamed live on this board. So stay with us. For what seems like will be Mernon against Van der Pass. 96. But who knows? Giwa could just start smashing in maximums and win three legs on the spin. 60. Anything is possible. 40. Even the word impossible says I'm possible. Uh, and it's looking more possible now because Giwa has got two visits from 1 3 4 to pull it back to 4 5. 94. But it's a next leg that will be the crucial one he needs to break. 86. Game shot. So there's that one dealt with. 5 4 to Mernon. Now then, can he hold it together and close out the third victory of the day? Or will he give Prakash Jiwa a chance, a sniff? Can he give himself a chance? Well, it's not the best start for the Apache. Apache start, if you will. 100. Sixty. Yeah, it's looking very likely that Joe Mernon is going to make it three wins on the spin and move into the board final to take on Benito van der Pass. 83. Only a big score here. Can threaten. 100. Well, it's a ton. But he's still 105 behind. Add another 120 to that. 139 to that. 
Joe Mernon leaves 54. We'll have two darts to win it in this visit, but he may get as many as he wants here. Double top for the match. And there it is. Joe Mernon makes it three wins on the spin. He moves into the board final. Giwar is out. Mernon is through to play Van der Pass. That's coming up next. Welcome to The Dart Show, a brand new monthly show where you get all the news, reviews, interviews and backstage stories. Joining me in the studio is darts reporter Dan Dawson and former players champion Paul Nicholson. The standard really has been rising and rising and rising every year. Whenever you're watching PDC Darts, you've got a chance of seeing something incredibly special. Now we have the chance to travel with the players as they embark on another year on the darts circuit. We'll also be on the scout for up-and-coming talent as we look out for the stars of the future. This is a place to get all the up-to-date news from the world of darts. Wigan, home of the DW Stadium, just over there they play football, they play rugby league, but just over the road right here in Robin Park they play darts and this is one of the most important venues in world darts. It certainly is, not only do they have Q School here, but also all six UK Open qualifiers, which is why we're here today, 32 boards of action including these two show boards. Look at all the kit we've got here so you can see the action as it happens as the 200 plus players fight it out for a place at the UK Open Finals in Minehead. There's 96 places up for grabs at these qualifiers based on money earned here. It's 10 grand to the winner, but roughly around 750 quid was enough last year, so that's the sort of target they're aiming for. That's winning about three games. Yeah, and there are no free passes either, so if world number one Michael Van Gerwen or Gary Anderson, the number two, wants to be in Minehead for the UK Open Finals, they've got to come here and earn it. 